Hello, my name is Nephi Wolf and I'm with NCSI. And uh, this is our sixth video in the extraction series. And in this video, we're going to talk about uh, just the basic ideas of, of designing a dashboard. Um, we'll also, in, in two more videos, we'll talk about the different types of widgets. We'll go into those in more detail. Uh, but in this video, we'll just kind of show you how and, and why um, you would create a dashboard. Uh, so uh, there's two main types of reporting tools in extraction. Uh, and, and dashboards is what we're talking about today. Uh, there's also documents, uh, and we'll go over those in the next video and, and how and why you would create those. Uh, but with the dashboards, uh, the dashboards give you a nice graphical, uh, reportable uh, interface. You can pull in a whole bunch of different data points. Um, you know, there's a lot, you can look at all of your incidents. There's a lot of information that, uh, that you can get on your incidents or your requests or your, your computers, your devices. Um, you, you can pull it all together in a nice, you know, a nice dashboard. And this is what most people think of when they think of extraction. Um, and again, in the next video, we'll, talk, we'll explain the documents and, and why you would use those. But the majority of the people spend their time here in the dashboards. Um, with the dashboards, uh, we have all these different uh, gadgets here. And as we're designing a dashboard, actually, let's start with opening a dashboard. So, so a lot of the time, uh, you'll spend your time here on this first icon, this home icon, and you'll be seeing all these different dashboards here. Um, so we can go through and we can open these up. We can say that we want to look at um, active VIP incidents or uh, let's see, SLA performance. So we can look at these different dashboards and, uh, and get our reports on them. Um, and as we decide to change them, as we're looking at these reports, we may decide that we want to, to make some changes or maybe filter it by the, by the month or, or add a new gadget here. So uh, you'll, try, you know, you'll try clicking on this blue info button and, and, and you can't change it. So you'll need to remember when you're on this home icon here, when you're in the home area, you're just looking at the dashboards, but then you can click on this edit button and then you can edit the dashboards. And now we can come in. Now we can we can make changes to this dashboard. So if we come in here, we can we can edit that. So that's one thing to keep in mind is that you'll want to make sure that you're uh, you're on this edit section here. And uh, if you're on the home button, you can just edit that. Uh, you also may want to change how many you know how many reportable sections there are. So let's let's say for example we want to add just a list of of all of the incidents. On this dashboard, uh, so we need another section on the bottom here. So, uh, you know, if we click on this, we'll do, we're just editing this incident section here. So we'll need to make sure to go up to the top section. So we can click on this info button here, and then we can change the layout. We can change how many items we have. So we have five items right now. So we want to make we want to find one of these that has uh, some more sections two long sections and four, uh, let's see. Now we'll just go with this. So we can do that and we can change the layout. We have more items here. So we want to do that list. So we can just drag this over here and drop it on there. And then we get our list. But then as we look at this, we say, maybe we say, well, I want I want this to be wider because there's so much data here. You'll see, you'll see a little scroll bar. There's so many things. I need this to be wider. So we can drag this up here and then I just swap places. So we can move items around like that on the dashboard. We can just change their place. And uh, so we can swap places like that. And let's see. We can also, um, as we look at these, so as you click on the blue info button, another thing to notice is that you have component for every one of these. So I have component here. And then you'll have the report underneath it or uh, reports. So in this case, there's actually three reports. There's the number of incidents that were created. There's a the number of incidents that were closed. And then there's a the percentage of those that are closed. So we have that. So we have those three. So you can go directly to the created report. So we can go in there and we can work on the created report. We can change what that looks like. Uh, but you can also go to the top level. 
So you can go to this component here on every one of these, and then you'll see the created report right here. So you can go in and you can change it. Um, there are a few features on the component level that you can change around. And uh, we'll get into this more in, uh, in one of the next videos, but you can change the outputs and, and uh, the way things look and the coloring and, and different settings there. And then you can also go in here and you can change the report itself, like the created report counting over the last month or, or whatever you want. Um, so you can go in and you can change those different items just by going t directly to the report or to the component. And then once in the component, then you can go to the report. Uh, so there's that part there. Um, another thing to, to mention, as you change the layouts of these, um, so maybe we'll change this here and we'll just, so this one has five, we'll just go to one at six. So we have this extra area here and we can drag over text list there. So as you change the layout, uh, whatever report is last, that will be, if you change it to something smaller, that one will be removed. So if we go back to this this layout that just has five, then that list disappears. It, it's gone. So just keep that in mind. Um, sometimes maybe you want to you, you do want to downsize, but you want to keep a few of the reports. Just make sure that they're at the beginning part of your your dashboard, and the ones that you don't care about, the ones you want to delete, just make sure they're at the end. And as you make it smaller, they'll get removed. Um, and to, to add new items here, uh, we have a whole bunch of different data types that we can look at here. So we can go in and we can do time components. And that's, uh, do we have one here? I'll well, just, and, and underneath the time components, this one will, so this one will do, a, we'll just drag over area real quick. So this shows you over the last month, and this is configurable, but over the last month, how many incidents were created each day. And so uh, for the time components, there's, there's different looks to them. So we can do like a column, it's the exact same data, but it just looks slightly differently. Line, same data again, just looks a little bit different. Grid, so we can drag these over and uh, we can add these items in there. And they just, they just give it a different look. Uh, group components, so like this is a group component, instead of showing you over time how many incidents were created, we can just show you a group, like this is showing the categories. What are the top five categories of incidents that were created? And this is what a, what a group looks like. Uh, tree components, uh, we can just drag over, you know, you can drag those over how many incidents are active. There's three that are not and 43 that are. So we just drag those over, and, and we will go over these in more detail in some of the future videos. Uh, pivot components just lets us it's, uh, lets us pivot on different items, group pivots. So we can say we want to look at the customer. I'm going to just drag that over, and the customer, and then how many are active. Active. So then we can look at that and say, okay, this customer has uh, X amount that are active and, and, and inactive. So we can use these, we can just expand these different types and we can drag them over and, and drop them on here. And it, uh, as you drop them on, it'll overwrite the existing data point. So if you want to move them, we can always just drag them to different areas and we can move them around. Um, but if you drag one of these over from this side, then it will overwrite it, and it will it'll remove the old one and, and put the new one in its place. Um, so dashboards uh, they're very useful for you know gathering information uh, together in, in one screen. Um, you can uh, this, this is the basic information on how to set them up, and then in the next few videos we'll go into a lot of the details on how you can configure all of these different uh, gadgets and, and make them, sh uh, show them exactly the information that you're looking for.